To complete your advertising, you have to make some real good pictures. So make sure when you start to take pictures that the boat is in a neutral place and that it's totally by itself so you can get the good shots. With neutral surroundings, I mean as well, make sure when you take pictures that no other people are in the picture like over here. So then the people who, the potential buyer who's really gonna look at the boat, sees the boat and just the boat and no other things will get his distractions. Most important, of course, for a potential buyer is to see that he is interested in the boat who has been well maintained. So make sure before you start making pictures that everything is pick and span. As you can see, this boat is still having all the salt spickles on it. So it's just a very easy thing. Just get a good polishing so that the white is disappearing and you get a nice glossy. If you have a potential buyer not coming from the same country, don't have your end sign on the back of your boat. There are a couple of small details what you can do when to make pictures. Make sure that fenders are away, loose lines are away, so that the first pictures you take, the boat looks just impeccable. There are a couple of real important aspects when you take interior pictures. The first thing what you should do, try to put on the lights. Every bit of light you get into an interior just makes it a better picture. Take all personal items away, like behind me over here there's laying caps, the galley is not cleaned up, there's laying a lot of books in the side of the boat. Just make it looking as clean as possible. Once your boat is clean and really representable for the best shots you can make, it's time next to start taking the pictures. Here I'll give you some examples what the best angles are to take these pictures. One picture, for example, is to start taking one from the bow, where the entire boat is into the picture. Of course, a really important part of the boat is the cockpit. Here is where everything is happening. This will be, for example, a real good position. You're standing on the stern of the boat, have a good view forward, so actually the people who are looking on the web can see the complete picture of the boat. Another picture you should take right on the middle of the boat, so again, you're having an overview from the bow of the boat. Make sure you have some detailed pictures on the boat as well. For example, an area around the mast is really important because a lot of people like to see the layout. But as you can see as well, this boat is having a lot of hatches, which is really interesting and because you can guarantee good ventilation during the summer. Of course, it's really important to show pictures of the interior. Make sure that the instrument panel is on the, on the picture, that all the equipment, what you're using, is actually in the picture. A real central part of the boat is the galley, so make sure that you have the entire galley into the picture. Take shots of each cabin. For example, this forward cabin would be an ideal place for young cats. Make sure as well to take a picture of the engine compartment because that's an area which is normally covered up but as you can see over here this owner has been looking particularly well after his boat. Of course you have to take a picture of the shower and the toilet area as well. Try to get even a picture where the window is open so you can show immediately that there is good ventilation in, the, in this area. In addition to the still pictures it's really good idea to have some details from the deck layout and the interior. Try to use a PDF format or in case you don't have that just take a still picture of it. Now that we've covered the still pictures, a real important aspect is actually the new media there is. Use items like Facebook, your email, to get in connection with your friends or with clients. Good luck with this.